Hi hey guys, welcome back to our video again. So just as we thought that part 7 was the last part of our restoration video, suddenly something interesting happened. So right after I have parked the bike, we noticed there's some weird noise coming out from the bike. So we spotted the coolant is gushing out from the overflow pipe and the boiling noise is quite loud. And we also lost a lot of blood and coolant as you can see in the image here. So what we can do next is basically just to wait for the engine to cool down and then we can do some visual inspection to check if there is any other leakages other than the overflow pipe. We also check the coolant reservoir tank just to ensure that there's still coolant inside. If there's no coolant inside, we will need to call a tow to avoid overheating the engine. Since this bike is still under warranty, so we decided to bring it back to the dealer just to ensure our assumption on the 40 reservoir cap and also the cam chain tensioner is 40. I was informed that the check and repair will take roughly about a week. The, the dealer is very kind that they offer me a replacement bike for a time being, which is this Vespa GTS 300 at no cost. So since it's free, I will just gladly take it. Uh, here to take my bike and also return the loan bike. The street tripper. Thank you. So you can I check what's wrong with the bike or what's being done on the bike? So you change the chain. Oh, the cam chain. I mean chain, tensioner. Oh, tensioner, okay. The radiator cam. Oh, okay, as expected. Okay, got it, thank you. So we got the bike back. So let's see. So we got a new cam chain tension huh? So I guess we need to tighten this wiring back later on when we are back. So the coolant is top up as well. Let's try it out. So the tickling sound is gone. So we just got back our street tripper. However, there's a few area that we need to touch up a little bit, like the wiring is all dangling all over. Uh, generally, it's okay. The dealership actually refused the coolant that was uh, gushed out. I think almost half of them were gone. So they changed the chain tensioner and also the cam chain, which is located somewhere here. So the rotation of the overhead cam is linked to a chain that is rotated by the crank so when the chain runs up the overhead cam it opens up the valve so one's on the intake and one on the exhaust so over time the chain will loosen because just like your sprocket chain so when this thing loosens the tensioner actually tightens the tension to control the timing to ensure the valve opening and closing will be still the same however it's loose that's why you hear the rattling sound which means the chain is slacking and then hitting against the wall. This cam tensioner actually has a spring-loaded bar you call it or something that pushes the chain and tightens the chain tension. So we managed to find a small wrench that is reachable inside. So unscrew this screw and are able to take it out. And we gotta replace it with the identical one. So this reservoir cap is also being replaced. The reason why the coolant is being gushed out from the overflow hose is because of the heat builds up on the radiator. Once it hits a certain heat, the pressure actually pushes the spring up and the excess 
coolant will gush through this line back to the excess tank here once it reaches the max line the excess coolant will be gushed out from the overflow tube which flows from here all the way down to here so after replacing this cap so it should be fine because the spring actually squares and tears over time The screw actually broke off while we are trying to fit it. So, what we need to do now is to ply it out. Because all this screw is made out from aluminium, so it tends to get stripped off very easily. So this one has already stripped off. We saw some is going to strip off soon. Because we bought a box, a set, so we just take this opportunity to replace all those that are going to strip off. Replace all this stripped out screw with a new one so I guess everything is uh, sort of like tidy up and fixed now so we try it out see whether the signal lights are working because just now it wasn't the light is working the high beam low beam is working so we try the lights okay so the both lights are signal light are working so now let's try to see if we can hear the rattling sound again The light and the sound is gone. Just now on the way back, we could feel the hot air blowing out, so the fan is working. So everything is solved by fixed and done. So we are ready to rock and roll. So guys, see you on our upcoming video where we ride around and explore a little bit more about this tiny island. Bye-bye.